Do you remember when you were a kid and someone asked you, what do you want to be when you grow up? When I was 8 years old, I wanted to become a painter. At about 12 years, I wanted to be something in sports. At 15, I was totally convinced that I'll be a football player. And then in college, I knew I'll work in an ad agency. I even did my post-graduation in art direction in advertising. Sometime in between, I was even clear about pursuing music as a career option. And now I'm a professional filmmaker and photographer. When someone asked you, what do you want to be when you grow up? What was the first thought that came to your mind? Do you remember? Hi, what's up? I'm Abhishek and welcome back. Because of this lockdown, I've been thinking a lot about my life and where am I headed. No, it's not one of those dwelling deep on life kind of videos. It's about this one basic question which you and me were definitely asked when we were probably in school. Beta, what do you want to be when you grow up? Oh shit, it still haunts me. As a kid, I used to answer all kinds of cool professions that I knew then. And to the extent that profession would help me earn a good income, I would get a badge of success in society. When we were probably just learning the names of various professions, this simple question in a way limited our understanding of life and the future. Try and understand, the moment you ask a younger one, what do you want to be when you grow up? You're actually, unintentionally of course, setting a thought limit in their brain. And how is that? Because by asking this simple question, we have somewhere defined the meaning of success. And that is to achieve something in your career, which the little one can easily understand to be the purpose of life. I recently read in an article that young people today are likely to experience 5 to 8 major career shifts in their life. So does that mean if someone doesn't stick to one career for long, goes further away from success or delays success? Hmm. I don't know. What do you think? Let me put it straight. The question, what do you want to be when you grow up, however casual and straightforward it may sound, is rather misleading. Two main reasons. Number one, it indirectly suggests that career achievement is equal to success, is equal to purpose of life. Sorry to say, but people who have this philosophy in life struggle with work-life balance. And their lives center around their boss's mood, office politics, appraisals and layoffs, and how much money is there in their bank account. Honestly, even I'm learning the hard way that work is not life, it is part of life. Chasing only success may not necessarily give you happiness, but finding happiness will certainly give you success. As they say, success is not the key to happiness, happiness is the key to success. Wow, beautiful, what a line. And the second reason is that this question somewhere suggests that becoming someone or something is like reaching an end, sort of a final goal and that's it. But this is never going to be the case, right? Because there will always be more things to do and even more things to grow into. So instead of simply becoming, we have to always be in the doing if that makes any sense. Because when we focus more on what we are doing and finding our joy in the present, then the thought of becoming someone or something one day will not be a worry or fear, which is quite common today, right? Will I ever make it? Seems very unlikely I'll reach there. Remember the movie Forrest Gump when someone asked him, who are you going to be? And he replies, who I'm going to be? Aren't I going to be me? <laughs> To the point. This is a story of a man with a very low IQ who excels in everything he does and becomes successful in society. Aren't I going to be me? Man, that's so deep. <laughs> Becoming too fixated on the professional title, so to say, is not cool. <laughs> Don't let anyone else also become that, please. At least not that child who's already feeling so awkward to give you that answer, the name of the profession you'd like to be in. How are you feeling right now? Scared. Scared? Why are you feeling scared? This is first time I ever Everything they see and hear and understand at this age remains with them for the rest of their lives. Choose your words carefully, bro. Adaram, what do you want to be when you grow up? Change that question. Ask them a rather interesting one. Instead of asking what do you want to be when you grow up, ask them how do you want to live when you grow up? Which is your favorite subject? Okay, okay, I understand. Which is favorite subject of girls? Italy. Italy, which subject is that? 
understand. I can't understand anything. Say one word something. And which is very difficult subject. Okay, okay, okay. That's about it. Thank you very much for watching this video and if you're still here then do tell me some more questions which you think are way better to ask those kids. And next time I'm shooting a film with them, I may be able to interview them better. Also once again, what did you want to be when you were a child? You tell me, I'm waiting to know. Comment. I will see you in the next one. Ta-da! How many of you like my hair? Who, who wants my hair? I can hear you. <laughs> no, you can take it. <laughs>